thanks for joining us. What a cracking fight. Great performance from Joseph Parker. Congratulations. Over to the floor for questions. Joseph, what an absolute wall that was. Did you expect Chisora to make it to the swap? Because there were many times when we thought even Dave might have fought for a throw the towel at one point. So I wanted the knockout, but got too excited a few times when I heard him. Um, so the positive thing is we made improvements and adjustments from the first fight. And the exciting thing is there's still a lot of work to be done with Andy. So I just need to take a break now and enjoy time with the family, quality time with my wife and my kids, and then um, rise up here to make a decision what's next. Did you enjoy the back and forth nature of the fight? I loved it. 24 rounds of Derek. He's a beast. He's a warrior. And he, he always comes and gives it all. Um, and I'm just happy it's a lot more exciting than the first fight. Did he ever have you hurt in there? Listen, I can't really hear you. Pause it. I can't really hear you. He stung me in the, in the, on this side. And you can see he's a bit smaller. So yeah. there was one tough guy. Well, you never felt like he was in there? I didn't feel like I was going to be out of there. But I just I felt a few punches there, of course. And then for you, Eddie, yourself, um, the fight more than delivered. The atmosphere was absolutely electric. You would actually think that Derek was... It was in his home, hometown, really, would you? Yeah, I, I just think, though, with Derek, you know what you're going to get. And I think when you fighters always talk about going out on their shield, he came out in the 12th round to try and win the fight by knockout, full well knowing that he could get carried out. But he's, you know, a lot of fighters say, oh, I don't care if I get knocked out trying to win. Doing it is, is different, especially when you're already hurt. And that's why people love him. But I tell you, it was a great performance with Joseph. And he needed to... He needed to be that good. And I'll tell you, he needed to be as conditioned as he was, because it was a gruelling fight. And if he wasn't fit, he would have folded down the straight, because Derek makes you do that. And I, 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 was, I was really impressed by the performance, but very impressed by the conditioning. Because, you know, he's obviously worked very hard, because it was a gruelling, gruelling fight. And um, it was a big win for him, because you need to win well, and you need to win in exciting fashion. And I thought it was good. Good to see some spite from Joseph Parker, letting his hands go with bad intentions. Because I feel like he hasn't had the confidence in the ring. Um, and tonight we saw a different kind of Joseph Parker throw him with bad intentions. Were you concerned for Derek at all in there? Because there were moments where his eyes looked like he was in a different place for, for a few rounds, maybe from the fourth round on, onward. He was just... I think, you know, Dave Colwell knows what he's doing. I mean, there was one stage where every time he got hurt, obviously, he wasn't very good at hiding it. He'd go straight into the neutral corner and just try and pot shot Joe. But Howard Foster actually was ready to jump in and he turned to him during the exchange and yeah, said, sure. don't you dare. Do you know what I mean? And then he opened up. <laughs> yeah, he did, yeah. yeah. But it was like every time he looked like he was going to get stopped, he let five or six go. So I felt at one side, I said to Dave Colwell, did you think about pulling him out? Because after the third knockdown, I thought he may have a word with him. But it's very difficult to have that conversation with Derek, to be honest with you. Like reinvigorated there, you seem to have a hunger back. I mean, what has brought that back back in you? Just, uh, I think I just, I, like I said before, I needed more time with Andy. The first fight was a short time. I think um, you can see with a longer time and more time together, you can see the improvements. Um, and I think the next camp will see, we'll keep working on it, keep improving, and get better. The world titles are obviously tied up for a while now with possible dispute, boys, and everything next year. But What's your aim with the two losses on your record? Would it be to go out and get revenge for them if those opponents are available later next year? Anyone. Like what's next? I don't know. Yeah, it? I mean, look, we'll speak to, to Dave and, and Andy, obviously. <laughs> and um, for me, you know, I think, like you say, no one's going to get a world title shot till later in the year. And, you know, he's boxed twice, once in May, once in December. Nice to stay active. I'd like to see him fight in New Zealand or Australia. You know, I mean... There's so many fights he could have. You know, you've got Hergovic in a final eliminator, tough fight, but gives you the key to the world title on a big split with the IBF. You've got Andy Ruiz rematch. You've got Deontay Wilder. You know, Dillian White after, you know, he knocks out Tyson Fury. Um, you know, and um, we'll, we'll have to see. I, I think he's in a great position because it's one thing winning, but it's winning well in exciting fights. That's the difference. So Joseph Parker won tonight and makes people want to watch him again. So... You know, we'll see what Mr. Higgins says, and uh, I like the idea. Of, you know, if you want to stay active and fight at home, you know, uh, I don't know. I mean, Chris, you know, to get home. Yeah, yeah, yeah true. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. When will you get home? John, in your reaction to the scorecards, because two were very close. So if you took one or two knockdowns, they'd be glad to meet your points. 
I said, I knew after the fight that I won, but the judges, that's their job, I'm not sure. What was the scores? Well, I mean, 117, 111, 116, 112, 114, 112? Uh, 115, 114, 112 was a, was a... Is that even possible when the three knockdowns to try? Yeah, I mean, <coughs> I have no idea, but I think... Uh, My views about the officials yeah. are well canvassed over the last few years, yeah. but it's just disappointing. But it was, yeah. the thing about the officials is we couldn't have New Zealand or Australian judge come here because of the Trans mandatory hotel and everything, uh, when you return, and the lottery to get back into the country. So um, we could have got a European judge or... Um, but we said no, the British Boxing Board, they, they are the best, they're the best, and so we trust them, and listen. <laughs> yeah, we could have uh, <laughs> we could have claimed breach of contract, but instead we thought, no, we'll give the benefit of the doubt, as Andy said. Right, right. Uh, Andy, you've obviously worked with Fury and Joe now for a while, if both of them their recent fights have been more exciting, is that something you wanted to help them bring out for themselves? Um, Very different guys, obviously. But. It's all about, yeah, it doesn't, Joe... It's just about being consistent, isn't it? And being um, going for a knockout. It's heavyweight boxing and being spiteful. Um, Joe, Joe just followed it like he followed the instructions perfectly. Fight did exactly what we did in the gym. And, but there were still mistakes, and there's still lots to improve on. That's exciting for me. He's only, I would say, we're about at 50 percent in our journey, and uh, there's still a lot more to come. Eddie, yeah, really what? Long, <coughs> Be a kind of that we can re-ball in yeah. the second half of your new career. That's what I needed, yeah, and I'm a lot more excited about what's to come. John, I know you felt a lot of pressure coming into this one. You said you stayed. It felt like an April break for you. What's the feeling like now, then? Oh, maybe. Christmas present. Now I can just relax and spend time with my family. You know, they're here, my wife and my kids. Very happy going into Christmas and New Year's. Eddie, what would your message be to Derek now, obviously? I had a conversation with Dave after the fight, and he's, he can't really say anything in terms of all these retirement talks with Derek, you know, he's a fan favourite. Yeah, but it's, it's, uh, it's too early for that. I mean, the first thing he said to me was, well, in the ring, did you enjoy that? Yeah. That was one thing. And then when I saw him out there, he said, can I go again in the spring? <laughs> I mean, he doesn't know anything else. The problem is, is he's not regressing. So he had a good camp. He's not getting hurt in sparring. You know, you can't say he's, his punch resistance has gone because he went 12 rounds, took the kitchen sink, and he's getting beat by elite heavyweights. So, on one hand, I understand the argument to say, you're 36, you're taking punishment, you've got money, you've had great nights, enough's enough. But on the other hand, I also understand the fact that he loves to fight, he feels like he's fighting well. And if you're not an elite heavyweight, he will beat you. No question about it, he's a nightmare to fight. I mean, he just... Well, what about, like... Um even though he lost, his reputation grew. It did, that he's so gonna, why, could, why don't you give him a nice four or five fights where he's not, <laughs> where he's not he's under that? Yeah. Because he's he doesn't really, the problem months. is as well, he wants those big nights, do you know what I mean? He's like, and, and the you problem know, is... The speakers, he, no, yeah. no but, disrespect yeah. to David Price, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Unless, but he, wins, he beats those guys, guys, you know, but he wants... Listen, uh, and every time, if you look at his 11 defeats, you know, he's lost twice to Joseph Parker, twice to Dillian White in two. His record's crazy. Twice the Tyson Fury. That's six defeats from three fighters. He got robbed against Hellenius in Finland. Probably should have got the decision against Pulev. A bad performance against Caballero. Lost to Alexander Usyk. The Tali Klitschko. I mean, like I'm saying, if you're not an elite heavyweight, he will beat you. And if he wasn't, if he didn't perform like that tonight, and if he wasn't as fit as he was, he would have got beat tonight. That's why you've got to be on the top of your game to beat him. Sorry? Is this the beast you need to say? I think so. You know, because I think even when he fought AJ, he didn't have that kind of belief. You know, you've got to believe in yourself. You look at, you know, I'm, I hate to say it, but Tyson Fury is probably the best example of that in a division. Someone that truly believes in his ability in himself. And now Joseph's believing in himself with that confidence. He's, he's, he's a much better fighter and a more spiteful fighter. And, uh, you know, I think if you don't have the confidence in, in a division, in this division, it's a, it's a tough, even tougher sport. Joe, what do you want next for 2022? I just want to keep busy, just keep fighting. Joe, there was a moment, uh, I'm not sure which round it was, but it looked like um, a bit of a below the belt shot, and you saw it, and you kind of waited a second, 
expects the rep to come in and she's already took that as an opportunity to, to go for <coughs> broke. What, what do you make of that uh, instance at, at that time? Just got a low blow, right? Oh, and then you keep coming. Do I have to cover up and fly back? You didn't have a problem with it? No problem, it's all right. Last question, guys. Joe, can we see your face if you're full of boxing? He's, does he doesn't box anyone, does he? Isn't he, he doing that other thing, the, tri the, 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 the other the thing? The triangle. Triangle. Yeah. 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 Maybe. Well, that, maybe. That's one. Yeah, go on. First of all, I'd just like to say a massive congratulations. We spoke the other day, we spoke about Spike. We saw that tonight. An absolutely fantastic performance. You brought the heat uh, to this match. You two seem to work really well together as a team. Joel, I know you said you're going back home to your family, you're going to take time out. How is that relationship going to stay stable moving forward for future fights if you're too wrong New Zealand? Thank you. You're here? Yeah. Okay. Can't okay. get home. We can't get back home. Right, okay. Until further notice. <clears throat> you, need a, you need to win an MIQ lottery. So you've got a chance of one in ten every few weeks or whatever. So we're stuck up here till the government regulations change. Well, then that's good for us because then we've got you for longer. Thank Congratulations. you. Thank you. But unfortunately, you've got Higgins as well. <laughs> 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 Fuck. <laughs>